I have been interested in bees for as long as I can remember, but I've only been a bee beekeeper, if you would, uh, for about two years. What first attracted me to bees? Years ago, I went with my mother to a monastery in Big, in, at Big Sur, and I met a, a monk who had been beekeeping for 40, over 40 years. And I couldn't figure out what was the attraction to a beekeeping, or why would anyone want to do that? So I actually started doing some research about um, on bees to see what was the, um, you know, what's the appeal. And I found that they are the most fascinating creatures on this planet. I started with not even a hive. We, uh, a couple years ago, over two years ago, we found a, a bunch of bees in our water register where we turn on the water with our a little tool and we couldn't kill the bees. So I told my husband, I, I asked him to go down and buy a bee box for me. So as you, uh, we have bee boxes and I said, go, just go down and buy a bee box and I'll save the bees. And that was a total disaster. I did not save the bees. The bees flew away the day after we put them in this really expensive box. So uh, not to be daunted by that, I actually started doing more research and I purchased a hive. And I had somebody come out and set a hive up for me. And that was my first venture into beekeeping. Currently we have honeybees and they're not native to the United States. They were brought over here. Uh, they. They live really well in uh, what's called a lanthrop box. So you can look at, you can pull them out and you can test them and, or look at the hive. Uh, so it's the best bees to keep in, in our areas that we, so you can get honey, but also help pollinate the, the planet. I've always been so reluctant to take their honey from them so far because they do need it. They, they actually, it's called stores. They store the honey. And when we don't have a lot of flowers or a lot of pollen in the yard, they, that's what they eat. That's what keeps their um, the hive alive. Bees all have distinct jobs, and the queen is probably the most important bee in the whole colony. And the queen puts off pheromones, and she tells by her pheromones is like a perfume that bees put off, and that perfume sets the tone for what's happening in the colony. Pollen is essential for a bee colony, and. Although bees can't eat pollen directly, they might actually be drinking the nectar that's in a flower, but they're not actually eating the pollen. So the little bees, they carry their bee, their pollen back to the hive, and they put it into little tiny cells. And so what they do is they try to ferment it. So they put a little bit of nectar in there, and they put a little bit of saliva, bee saliva. And they, so they put that in, and then they seal it and that is what they do with pollen and then what the pollen is, is is food for the baby bees. So one of the ways that bees help the earth is that they carry pollen from one plant to another plant and crazy, uh, plants can't continue to bloom if we don't have uh, bees because they go from flower to flower pollinating each of the flowers and they grow bigger and brighter and more. Um, it's just, it's a beautiful thing. They help all crops, most crops. I, I think it was like 73% of all crops need bees or pollination. One of the things that I would highly recommend if anyone's going into beekeeping is get a bee mentor. But I'd also recommend you take a class, which I did. Uh, Penn State offers classes um, where you can take online classes right now. When you find a hobby that you like, stick with it and learn all get really good at it and I'm not really good at bees yet <laughs> I'm learning about bees and I think I probably won't be really good at bees maybe for years and years and years but it fascinates me because the bees are smarter than I am and that is a crazy thought so I was I always think that you know if I was in a room of a bunch of people it would be so amazing if we all kind of got along like bees bees just know their jobs to do and they get along and uh, they they kind of interact with each other and they can't you can't have a single bee. Uh, a single bee won't survive without a colony, not, uh, not our honeybees. So they have to have a colony. They have to have each other in order to survive. And I look at society like that. It's like we as people need each other to survive. And once we realize that, that, that is so important. Um, and we can learn a lot from bees.